everybody, it's Chloe Numerous, Save the Girl. How's everybody doing today? Amazing, I hope. Are we ready for another installment of navigating new releases on a no buy? Um, a weekly video of new releases that's been stewing around in my brain. If that's what you're into, you're in the right place. And you know what you need to do? You need to keep on watching. And I'm back. Oh man, being sick for a week and a half sucked. Let me tell you, I'm very excited to get back into some new releases and there's some fabulous ones this week. So we're going to put glasses on, we're going to move over a little, and then we are going to go. So a first step here, this is a brand that I've never really tried before. I had tried their vitamin enriched face base. I got a nice size sample of it. I really liked it, but it's very expensive and that would be Bobbi Brown. So here is their new Sculpt Glow Face Palette. There are two different color stories um, with a blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer. There's one that's a more lighter tone, um, which has more of a pinky feel. And then there's a more of a mid-tone one that has um, a slightly darker bronzer and more of a peachy look. Now it isn't very, it doesn't cover all the bases. It seems to be very much um, a lighter shade and maybe a tan skin tone. So it definitely, unless it's coming soon maybe they may for the North American market make a um, deeper a deeper one because right now these are available in Asia only but they're coming soon to other territories so I'm gonna assume for these two would cover all the bases in Asia but once you start going into most parts of North America or Europe you're gonna need some darker skin tones for sure um, other than that that's all the information I have I just thought the packaging was really really pretty I like the embossing. I do like the color stories a lot. Uh, I wish it was a little bit more you could mix, mix and match because I would like the lighter bronzer, but I like the peachier blush. And I think I might even like the slightly darker bronzer or bronzer highlighter because the other one's a little bit more pinky. I mean, not that I don't mind a pinky highlighter, but I lean more towards um, yellows or whiter, whiter tone ones. But I just thought that was very um, cute, and I got this from Transtopia too. Like I said, I've not really done a lot with Bobbi Brown. Um, the brand doesn't belong to Bobbi Brown anymore. She has her own brand. Is it Rhodes Makeup or something? I don't know. She's got her, she's got another brand, and um, so she had sold this, but it still has her name attached to it. But I thought it was really cute and a little bit different um, for what I usually show, so I thought I would give it a mention. So I think I'm going to, um, I've got actually a couple collections here. Um, I'm going to leave um, the one that I'm, well, I'm, I'm excited about all of them really, but I'm gonna leave this one here to last because it's a little bit more involved as well. But I'm gonna go over here to this one here, and this is Martin Cosmetics. Um, this was, um, I got this also from Transopia too. So this was their Moola collection. So Moola as in money. It's an 18 pan um, eyeshadow palette. There's two liquid lipsticks and there's three liners. It's already launched. It launched on April 11th and I think today's the 15th. So like four days ago. Um, this is a really nice looking set as you can see here. So we've got that beautiful palette. We've got the three, um, liners and the two lipsticks and the lipsticks looks to be a green and a kind of a burgundy red i did grab a photo of the um the liners because i thought these looked really nice so um it doesn't really say if it looks like there might be like an eyeliner a lip and two lip liners is what I'm thinking because I doubt you'd have a gray lip liner. I mean, I suppose you could, but I don't have a lot of details. Um, here's a closer look at the palette. It's really, really pretty. I quite like it. It's, um, it does read neutral, but it does have a lot of my favorite colors. So the greens, the yellows, the oranges, it has a black and a white, which is very nice. It even has a, like a bone shade, which um, I used to love for blending out with. Um, it is going for a 
54.95 euro which is really expensive so in canadian it's probably close to a hundred dollars um and then the looks like they have lip kits so it's like a lip liner and a lipstick i saw um because i was trying to navigate their website um which i believe is in french <laughs> and they look to be 14.95 euro and yeah i thought that was really nice it's a brand i've been watching since their diner palette everything looks really nice i hear the quality is really good um, i'm really excited to try them at some point so if ever i come into a little bit extra cash next year maybe i will check them out if you've tried martine cosmetics let me know how the quality is the packaging always is French Kiss and the color stories are nice. They have beautiful embossings in the pans. They usually do really nice, stunning little collections. So I quite like that. Um, if I was in a no buy and I had some extra cash, um, I think I would have picked up the palette for sure. And I'm not again into liquid liquid lips anymore but that green looked really nice so that could have been a temptation there so that is martin cosmetics it's out now 54.95 euro for the palette and then about 14.95 for like a lip kit and there we go so like i said i don't have tons this week but i do have a couple collections to look at so here is of course one of my favorite brands and it is um i'll just do the little launch sheet here this is the don't be jelly from unearthly cosmetics it's a pre-order launch um so it was on the 13th so a couple days ago which was at 12 p.m eastern time or it would have been 9 a.m. Canadian, or Canadian time, <laughs> West Coast time. And it has an estimated ship date of May 2nd. Now had this, uh, had I not been in no buy, I would have grabbed this for sure. Um, it is $60 US. Um, some additional info is there, there's 12 shades. They're 25.5 millimeter magnetic pans, which is always cool. Like, so you can take them out and move them around if you need to or want to. It's in a protective box with a foam in Insert, which I really like. That's the one thing I always loved about Juvia's Place that they always have their palettes wrapped in a foam and then into our um, pla plastic bubbly stuff and then into a slightly bigger carton. I think that's very cool. And then the outer box will, like with Juvia's Place, match the um, the um, eyeshadow palette cover. And then the shade names will be printed on the back of each of the pans. Um, so this has been released before, um, but these are all new shades. So because they do, I guess, a lot of specialty shades, sometimes it's hard to repeat. So um, yeah, so this is um, a redo of a previously done launch. Here is the color story here. And uh, yeah, this is really, really beautiful here. But I did notice that they also have these. So these here are for low, what did they call them? Low light highlight. These are the low light highlighter singles. There we go. They'll be available April 7th, so already out. So they were released a bit earlier. Um, and they're all new shades. They're 40 millimeter magnetic pans. They come in the shades Spellbinding, Mirage, Spectre, and Twilight. They're 30, um, they're $32 each for Spellbinding, Mirage, and Spectre, and Twilight is 15. So I'm going to assume one is slightly or sli slightly or <laughs> is slightly less special or you know um, has different highlight. It might be just a plain um, highlighter. Um, Yes, and then there'll be a bundle for $100. So that's good because separately it's, so yeah, so it's like $96 for three of the specials. Uh, so 106 will be 111 so you sell save like 11 dollars. so that's good a savings is a savings i like it i really um like their highlighters and their blushes so those are pretty yeah those are pretty nice i really really like those and then oh here we go here is um a picture of one of them 
Um, look how nice and shimmery that is. That would look really nice on this skin. And then back to our beautiful palette. So the palette has, again, 12 shades in it. And then here are some swatches. So here is the first four here. And then the next, oh, these look really pretty. The, the blue and the green and the purple, that's really nice. And then here is the last row of shades. And that looks really nice. This looks like a really nice palette. I really like their quality a lot. And then here's one more photo showing the cover with the palette together. That is super duper nice. I really do like that a lot. Um, yeah. So again, um, $60 US for the palette. And then you can get all the highlighters for $100 or $32 each for three of them. And one of them is $15. Um, if you want to see more um, um, swatches and stuff, um, you need to check their website out there because I just took what was available um, at the time. So there we go. So we have one more exciting release and I'm really sad that I can't take part in this because I'm trying to do really good here. So this is by one of my, I'd probably say in the top five, and uh, this is from Lethal Cosmetics. So here's a look at the full collection. They had done the Night Flower last year, and this year we've got the Wild Flower collection. The Night Flower will be restocked. Um, it keeps selling out. People keep liking it. I really like it too. I do own it. And this is a beautiful collection here. So it is the Meet the Wild Flower, Flower palette that takes inspiration from the ethereal charm of nature's most delicate blooms. There's 12 new eyeshadows, five mattes, one of them in neon. Who doesn't like a nice neon? Um, one satin, four duochromes, and two trichromes. Oh, that's exciting. And then the shades, we have Untamed, which is a breathtaking trichrome that shifts from lavender to green to gold. Daisy, a beautiful satin powder pink. Blazing Star, a stunning duochrome metallic that shifts from periwinkle to green. Foxglove, an intense purple matte. Thorn, a true neon pink matte that glows under UV light. Wow, that's exciting. Clover, an amazing trichrome that shifts from mint to pink to blue. Cyanus, a gorgeous amethyst matte. Heather, a duochrome metallic that shifts from fuchsia to mint. Oh. Um, there's Pioneer, a stunning duochrome that shifts from light pink to green. Wilted, a cool toned beige matte. Flourish, a duochrome that shifts from lilac to blue. Ooh, that would be pretty. And Nightshade, a mysterious deep matte navy blue. Wow. But they also have blushes in this collection. And for those, I have swatches. So there are four different blushes. There is Aster, a beautiful lilac with lavender pearl. Then we next up is Dandelion, which is a bumblebee yellow with light gold pearl. Now you know that's calling my name. And then we have Carnation, which is a bubblegum pink with petal pink pearl. Mm, that sounds kind of pretty too. And Pansy, a gorgeous raspberry with rose pearl. That's calling my name too. So, and then of course the swatches nicely show on a lighter skin and a darker skin. And then you can see how they look there. And then finally, they also have some new lip creams. So we have four different ones. We have Lyra, a beautiful dusty rose. Then up next is Phoenix, which is a gorgeous warm terracotta. Then we have Breeze, a cute petal pink, and then Finally, last but not least, we have Hydra, a run wonderfully grungy muted purple, which I would like as well. So the Wildflower palette will retail for 54 euro or $52 US. And then of course, all shadows can be purchased um, individually for between 650 and nine euro dollars in there. The shimmery blushes retail for 16 euro or 15.50 US each. And the four new shades of haze blush lip cream are 14 euro or 13 dollars US each. And then, and this is new because they released some 
brushes in their last collection, which dang, I wanted so bad. They decided to release this vegan brush soap and this one will um, retail for 12 euros or 11 us dollars and then yeah so you can see here you can just swirl it in there with your brush and it has if you look here in the lid it has those kind of little plastic rubbly bits so that you can really work your brush in to get this out so i think that is pretty amazing I really, yeah, I, I like a good brush soap, um, but I've got one right now. So that I wouldn't have got right away because I have a brush soap and then I had just bought from another brand a spray that I'm using as well. So this collection launches um, on Friday the 21st. So that'll be next week. It'll be 4 p.m. CST and that's 10 a.m. Eastern or 7 a.m. Pacific, which is my time. Ooh, that would be early. <laughs> so anyways, there we go. That is the beautiful Lethal Cosmetics collection. So we've got some great stuff this week. Um, definitely, this is a lot of stuff that <laughs> had I not been on a no-buy and I had some cash, there was a lot I would have picked up here. <laughs> I would have been pretty broke for the months of April, May for sure. So let me know, are there any favorites in this pile of stuff here that was interesting? Um, let me know down below. But anyways, that's it for us today. Another week of new releases down. So if you like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe even hit that notification bell. If not, that's okay. We can still be friends. We can still talk all new releases together. As always, behave, make good choices, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.